everyone. So it has been almost a year since I had my stoma surgery. A year ago, Hannah's life changed dramatically when she was rushed to hospital with a severe flare-up of her colon. She has ulcerative colitis, a disease which causes bleeding and ulcers. The stoma is about here and then the bag just sits down there. There's a massive scar. <laughs> She ended up having an operation to remove most of her colon and was fitted with a stoma bag, a device which sits externally on the skin and collects body waste. Hello, welcome to my bathroom. So The East Londoner is also a YouTuber and, and having a bag is something she talks about regularly to her half a million subscribers. I don't think I ever was disgusted by it. There's definitely some times I'm just like, hmm, like would quite like that to not be there, that would be great, but never like a repulsion. But not everyone who has this condition is as positive as Hannah. Many find the bag embarrassing and hard to live with. This is one of the earliest prototypes. Stephanie's brothers and father all have Crohn's disease. It's another autoimmune condition affecting the colon. Their illnesses inspired her to design a more attractive, modern-looking product for those who have to use a bag. Now she's been awarded £310,000 to bring her prototypes to reality. All of our designs have been inspired by tattoos and by lingerie. Uh, in fact, some of our designs have been inspired by potential customers who have sent in their own designs. The new Stoma bag is currently in development and it's hoped it'll be ready to use by 2020. Charlotte Franks, BBC London News.